Welcome back. We are going to be adding on our cartoon brushes today. So we are going through our simple little whale cartoon. In this demonstration and in these tutorials, we're going a little bit slower, especially for beginners. So hopefully this is your first tutorial. If it is your 30th, this might be a little bit of a slow version. But we're going to go step by step. I'm going to try and give you some tips and tricks as we are going through. In the end of the last video, we pretty much finished all of our inking. So we got all of our lines down. We were using our anchor point guides. So we had our handles and as well as just the anchor point guides. And again, those were hanging out at jasonsecrets.com. We also explained that we are gonna be doing our cartoon brushes in this one. So make sure you go over to the resource folder and we are gonna be doing cartoon brushes tinted today. So make sure you download those because that's where we are going to be starting right now. All right. So in my layers, I can get rid of handles. I want to have my inking turned on. And then a good little habit just to get into is just duplicating out each stage. So as you finish something, say, hey, I like this. Lock it out and then hide it. So for this one, this is going to be our brushes. Good, now in our brushes menu, select it. Now at the bottom left, you're gonna notice that there's this little library. I'm gonna drop down and click on other library. Now typically if you build it in this version, so notice that it is not selecting user defined. If I built those libraries in my current version, that would pop up. Since I built it in my previous version, it does not show up there. So here are my brushes, I already downloaded them. I am using cartoon brushes tinted, so I'm going to select those and then open. And then poof, there they go. Look how easy that was. And then all these are, and just so you're aware of what tint it is, they will tint out. So it is, it is not a clever name. So they will, if I actually select on something, I want it to be fat and then tapered. It will do the tapering for us, but if I zoom in, just so everyone can possibly see the difference, it will tint it out. Once we go through and add on all the thickness, we're gonna expand and then we'll color them. So if it does tint them, uh, really no big deal. Why it is also tinted is if I ever wanted to color these, we have already done that so you guys can color them. All right, so when we tint them, that is so you can color them on the fly if you so choose to. All right, so I'm gonna go plus plus our first go around here is all we are looking for is, is the taper and the thickness going to where I want? So I'm going for just what type of brush first, then we're gonna add on thickness, then we're gonna clean it all up. So you're gonna notice that we have all these little overlaps that's gonna be cleaned up in the next version, next tutorial. So this is what we're gonna do, we're gonna look for everything that I think I want a taper and then I taper on both ends. And a good rule of thumb is if you see an end point and the other end point both floating in space, that is where you're gonna want a tapered line. Tapered line. Next, if I'm just seeing there, uh, yep, I say that one. Everything else, I'm just looking for any other randoms that might do it. I think that's it. Okay, so the next versions, this one does not have a direction to it. So you're gonna notice that it's the same on both. On all of these other ones, and basically the, the fat on fat does not have a direction either. All these other ones, you're gonna notice that it's basically the same brush, and I actually was playing around with them, so that's why there's two. They're basically the same though. Is if I click on one, I just wanna see if the thickness is where I want. If it's not that one, just move it to the next one and it'll it'll move for you. So I want fat over here. So wherever it touches, that is a good signal that I want it to be fat. I'm gonna go fat and then I want it to probably taper over here. So let's just click on that one first, good. Let's just zoom out. So I want it to be fat over on the mouth and then tapered up at the top. So typically just select it, 
do a little a quick assessment for this one let's do tapered on both let's just see how if I I'd like that all right now if life is good these are all gonna work I want these all to be fat up at the lip life is good all right let's do I'm gonna do fat on both ends I might come back and change that so just depending on later things we might uh, adjust those all right I want fat to taper wrong one go in the right direction oh let's go fat on both ends good we're almost done with this step Fat taper, fat taper. I say let's go fat on both ends for that. This line, let's just zoom in. This back line is with the line that we're going to be seeing. So this one's just going to tuck in behind each one. Okay. Now we get to have some fun. Everything is going to get much thicker. So you can actually take your brushes, just move it on over. It'll be hanging out over here. So now we are going to just start selecting. And I'm going to probably say most of the default will be that three mark so let's just give it a test I'm gonna go one two three so right away I'm gonna say that's not the right number I like two for that one so this is two this one's gonna be one I missed these two so that's why we keep it up so sometimes you'll notice that it doesn't go, life is not dandy. Sometimes it will go in one direction and the other one will go in the other direction. Have it selected. Let's select those strokes. Let's just bump them up to two. One, two. I'm going to go black arrow and most of them as we are adjusting all of our, our lines here, I'm going to be on black arrow. Okay, let's take this one and I want it to be fatter over by that left hand side. There we go. Let's grab all of our little lines here. This one is going to be a different version so I just want to see how this one goes just for the under ones first oh let's hang out at two that's good I drop this one down all right so artistic control right I am gonna take those notice I'm in black arrow I'm just gonna drop that down a tiny bit more Okay, and we are flying today. Look at this. Let's go five. And now all we are doing is kind of doing a little boogie check. I want to just double check are the thicknesses where I want them to be. Some of this stuff is going to get covered up, by the way. Okay, so file save. These are all of the brushes. Now let's just zoom in so you can see what we are talking about. So the next step is we would be basically expanding and losing all of our strokes. So editing wise, this is gonna be way easier to edit than the next step. So the next step is we're gonna have points on both sides of the thickness. So what we want is, are all of these connecting where we want them to? So what I am looking for is, I don't want any gaps within the lines. Now what I can have is things go long. So notice this tail. So notice that there's this part that goes short, this little funky little corner. Anything can go long because I'm just going to erase it anyway. The short ones are the ones that are going to be a little bit more annoying to clean up later. And this is also a good time that if you think you want to adjust curves or any of those things, this would be a good time to do it. So my process here is I've got white arrow now. This is just a good little tidbit. So if same rules apply to what we did in the last video. Nice and slow. 
Black Arrow. And why some of these are possibly off is it is possible that we had a different thickness on my original. So I just want to make sure all of those are nice and clean. So I select it. Notice I select it first. Select it. I can now see my, so why I selected it so I can actually see where the anchor is. I know what I'm moving. Select it. Grab my point. Click, click. Again, we're just doing little boogie checks. Now I might move these a little bit. Zoom on in so it knows what I'm trying to do. Upper corner, okay. But what I want to do is basically have these go in the similar direction. Just zoom in again. I'm grabbing black arrow. I'm holding down shift, by the way. Keep everything nice and clean. And what I'm looking for, just so you can see where the, the black is, you might be able to see there's a little bit of a... This is me just getting picky on you. I want it to have a little bit of black on that edge. Control zero. We are just doing a little final little check. Is everything overlapped? I don't see any weird corners. So things that are acceptable is when lines are going into each other, all of those thicknesses will make your life very, very easy. So that's why we have kind of fatter lines. Let's go up a little bit with that one. All right, good. File save. Ready, ready, ready. So this one is the layer. I'm just going to call control zero. This is the one we work for. So we don't want to mess up this version. So definitely, definitely lock that guy out. I'm going to go duplicate those brushes. And we want to, like I said before, this is the one that is easy to edit. So where things are still in stroke form, you want to make sure you just save that one because we can always just modify lengths and things like that. So as soon as we do this next step, you'll see why. What we're going to do is going to come on over. I'm in my layers window. I'm just going to select everything. Click on that little button. Keep in mind, you can just go select all. I'm going to come over to object. I'm going to drop down and go expand. You might be able to see that there could be some little lines, especially for those those circles. I'm going to come down and do expand again. We'll get a little pop up, fill and stroke. I'm going to hit OK. Good. Now I'm just going to go control plus. Let's do it again so you can see what just happened. So we expanded all of our lines. So now instead of things being a stroke, now everything is being seen as one big shape. So if I click on A, you're going to notice that we have all sorts of more lines going on. So why I would say that the other version is easier is I would have to modify each one of these points to modify things. So let's just show you the fast little cleanup process. Now this is where we're gonna start to clean up all of our little overlapping. So we've been pretty lax on edges and things like that and that's just because I can come in, I've got black arrow, I'm gonna select my line that I wanna erase, I'm gonna go shift E and under or right by where our scissor tool is, is our eraser tool. And all we have to do is just hide it within each one of our little strokes. So I'm gonna select it, black arrow, so this is where we're going to go shortcut, shortcut. So I go select it with V, shift E, there's my little corner, black arrow, select, shift E. All that's going to get tucked in right there. I'm using my space bar, V, just in case there's something a little hiding there. I'm just using my... Shifty. Now, if you ever get any, this is where you guys can get really, really picky. If the brushes do anything weird, now I'm just selecting and I'm using minus, by the way. Minus. And then I can just come in and get rid of any of those random strays. So, a lot of times it'll happen on corners and things like that. There is a simplify path tool that will get rid of those as well. So, we're good. Just looking at all of our little edges. Good. Okay. Black. Shift E. Now, in case you want to adjust your brushes, brushes, bracket key. So, your brackets, just locate your P, the P key. 
Uh, uh, uh. All right, this is good. I want to get rid of that. That's way too fat. So this is where we save things, right? So I want to come back to my brushes. That's four. That's probably good. I'm going to go Control C. Let's lock that guy out. Hide it. I'm going to select the one and then just go Control F. Control F is our edit. Basically, all I did is edit, copy, edit, paste in front. That was it. And then we'll do the same thing. Expand. Good. That was it. So there, are, there is a good reason why we keep things. That looks good. I'm just looking for little edges, by the way. I'm looking for random little strays. Let's just zoom into this corner. I see some strays. Let's just do our fin. Is there anything weird? And then we will be expanding. So some of these little edges, I'm just going to have to basically minus a point once we expand it. And that'll make sense as soon as we're done with this. Let's just do two. Keep in mind, if you know that there's a bunch of them and they're all off, I can go shifty. I can select the ones I want to erase. Oh, we finally have stuff to do. Good. So I selected. Again, whenever we select, that's V. Everything on the right-hand side is going to go away. So I can select those two things. Shift E. Not going to be affected. So just as long as things are hiding and tucking into those lines, you should be good to go. All right. I'm going to go A. I am just going to get rid of some of these little... So this is again minus, control zero. Let's just double check. All right. Now for the most part, if you wanted to save this one, you can, I'm not going to. The brushes is the one that is typically the one I want. And we are gonna duplicate this one anyway once we do our colors. So let's just look at what we have going on right now. Plus, now if I want to have anything a different color this is a step that I would not want to do so if I wanted multiple line colors this is a step that you're not gonna to want to do but if you're following along for easy versions we are just going to keep things nice and clean so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna magic wand I'm going to select all of my black so the only thing that's not black are our highlights right now I'm gonna come over to our Pathfinder. If you don't see Pathfinder, it'll be hanging out under Window, and all we need to do is Unite. So let's just zoom in so you can see. We've got all of those little shapes that are all together, and I just want one nice clean shape. So that's just gonna clean everything up. Now is when we can say, hey, I want this to be black, black, and it'll come back. So that will get rid of any of that transparency. All right, so next, if there's any little strays that bother you, you can come in and just see if there's anything weird happening within your lines. Sometimes it happens when you do the brushes and then when you expand, how picky do we wanna get? How picky do we wanna get? Good to go. Now you're gonna notice, you might say, what happened to our highlights? I am on the black arrow, select, right click, I want to go to arrange and we're just going to send that to the back and then our little highlights pop back out. Good. Control zero. Okay. That was it. Hard parts are over. So all we are going to do next is we're going to do our flat color. We're going to start to add on our shadows and we're going to start to add on our gradients. So we have all of the line work done. And so now we are just going to do some really quick things adding on values, shadows, things like that. So it is gonna be a fun next couple steps. So file save. And I will see you on the next tutorials when we start to color.